12 years and even longer if you've been following Wahoo basketball in this community as the Bishop Newman Cavaliers, the three seed, fresh off a big win over UTAN on Tuesday night. They come in to take on the one seed, the host school here for the sub-district, the one seed Wahoo Warriors. And uh, in the C-1-4 sub-district final round play, the winner will advance to play, it sounds like, Saturday afternoon uh, in the district final to qualify for the 2021-22 state boys basketball tournament. And you are listening to the Wahoo State Bank pregame show, and Kevin will bring Kevin in here and... Kevin, you know this Newman team about as well as anybody. They have a young man that plays for it, has had a really nice season, and here we go again, buddy. Yeah, thanks, Bryce, and welcome in, everyone. As uh, Bryce mentioned, about four minutes away, and, uh, yeah, we talked about it about a week ago, didn't we, in that girls' game uh, yeah. as far as probably the 25th, 26th, we lose count number of times we've been here to do these. But I, I think uh, if you look at it on paper, I, I don't think you uh, – Cavaliers, tough road ahead, let's just put it that way. Uh, I think the biggest concern if you're Newman, looking at this from their perspective and head coach John Krakenmeyer in his second season, I think it's how do you stop or at least slow down Wahoo's juggernaut for an offense. They average a C1 leading 66 points a game. Cavaliers average only about 47. They've been low scoring all season. How does Newman find a way to potentially slow down Wahoo? They've got it all. They've got the complete package between the inside game uh, and also the outside shooting. So I think that's the real uh, game inside of the game, if you will, to see what Newman can do to perhaps try to slow down Wahoo here tonight. Uh, I think for Wahoo, it's just business as usual. Uh, certainly an energetic and electric crowd, which for them I think is important to try to maybe give them a little bit of a preview of what state tournament Lincoln Pinnacle Bank is going to look like. Um, but they know that they're solidly into the next round, into that district final round, which, as Bryce mentioned, would be on Saturday as they come in as the number one, uh, right now the number one seed of district finals. They have the most points in Class C1. Cavaliers got a win to, continue, uh, to keep their season alive, so it'll be interesting to see how things play out here. Uh, I think for Newman, two keys. Number one, they got to get off to a, a good start. Right. They got to be close early. They did that against UTAN. Number two, they got to hit some perimeter jump shots. Uh, they've they've got to be able to complement a solid inside game with some perimeter jump shooting. We'll see if they can do that here tonight. We're about two minutes away from the tip. We'll give you the starting lineups and the tip. You're listening to the Wahoo State Bank pregame show here on the WSO. It's a great feeling knowing you've hired a knowledgeable local contractor capable of handling your new or replacement gutter needs. No reason to get on that roof or ladder to keep those gutters clean either. Let Wade Seamless Gutters install a leaf guard system and you won't have to. Jerry Wade is your guy and his work speaks for itself. Local friendly and a quality job done every time. Give Jerry a call today, 443-6597. Established in 1975, Wahoo Dental Associates has been providing the best in dental care to Wahoo and the surrounding communities for over 45 years. Long-standing excellence is a trademark of their business and their young and energetic staff makes trips to the dentist enjoyable and pleasant. If you're in need of a good cleaning, checkup, or restorative care, let the professionals at Wahoo Dental Associates give your teeth a little TLC. Call today, 443-5959. Wahoo Dental Associates, proud to support Wahoo Area Athletics. Wahoo State Bank remains a true pillar of strength in our community. Located on the corner of 5th and Linden, Wahoo State Bank is committed to be the premier financial services institution in Wahoo while offering full service banking with small town values. Strength in lending, customer service and community engagement with a professional and friendly environment for all to enjoy. For your home team advantage, look to Wahoo State Bank. Damaging your vehicle doesn't have to ruin your day. Bring your vehicle to Woida Auto Body in Wahoo and they'll get your vehicle back to its original condition. Woida Auto Body will make sure it gets fixed right and on time. No shortcuts, no compromises. And remember, where you get your vehicle repaired is not your insurance company's decision, it's yours. Make the right choice and bring your vehicle to Aaron Woida 
at Woida Auto Body today for a free estimate. Give Aaron a call today at 443-4134. Anchor Insurance has individual health plans for groups of one, parties of two, and multiples of every kind. You'll find all kinds of options with benefits that work for you and prices that work for your budget. If you don't get group health benefits at work, get to know the individual plans from Anchor Insurance. No matter what kind of group you are, you belong at Anchor. For more information, call Eric Hancock today at 402-218-2766 or visit eric at anchorforme.com. Call 402-218-2766. Today's athletes endure many challenges, including the constant struggle to keep their bodies in peak physical condition. The quality physical therapy provided by the professionals at Makovic Asiliason will enhance your athlete's performance. As the largest privately owned physical therapy business in Nebraska, Makovic Asiliason offers a variety of cutting edge therapies, including an effective new technique called blood flow restriction therapy. Board certified staff dedicated to getting your athlete back into action quickly and confidently. Find them online at makovicapt.com or call 443-4555. is considered the preferred new home builder in the area. Quality craftsmanship, modern design, and a beautiful home for all to enjoy for years to come. When you decide it's time... Welcome back to Wahoo High School. Let's meet your starting lineups. First for the Cavaliers, they'll be the visiting team. Number 10 is junior Turner Ahrens. Number 12 is 6'1 senior Jude Palachik. Number 14, 6'1 senior Michael Lynch. Number 32 is 6'3", senior Sam Stewart. And in the post, number 52, six foot six sophomore is Connor Shutt. Head coach, of course, for the Cavaliers is John Krakenmeyer. He's assisted by Ross Kleiben and Bill Vogel. For the Wahoo Warriors, they'll be the home team here tonight. Number zero is six foot two sophomore Marcus Glock. Number one is 6'3", junior Owen Hancock. Number 10 is 6'2", senior Miles Simons. Number 13, six foot four junior Garrett Granjanet. Number 23 is six one junior Cameron Kosiski. Head coach, of course, is Kevin Sheaf, assisted by Mike Bomar, Brian Meyer, Dan Waddle, and Max Cook. Well, and away we go. We're ready for the opening tip. It'll be shut, jumping center for Newman against Hancock for the Warriors. And C-1-4 finals action is underway. Tip controlled by Wahoo. Granjanet has it. He flips the Glock. Newman starts in the man-to-man with it on the wing. Kosiski getting the start tonight. Anthony Simon got the start in the uh, first round ball game there tonight. Had a nice game, 22 points. Miles all the way to the rim. Flips it out, turns it over. Should have shot it. And there with Lynch poking away. Gets it over to Aaron. So Wahoo will start man-to-man as well. You'll see, to your point, Kevin, that ball tipped off the hands of Kosiski. Now, if you're Aaron, you're really going to have to take care of the basketball around Cameron. Well, and I think the other reality for Turner is sometimes he gets muscled a little bit, and he's going to have to really, like you said, really be strong with the basketball with Kosiski guarding him. Lynch with it on the wing, dribbles off the screen from Stir. They enter it to Stir. That's a good matchup against Glock. Kicks it back out. Aaron's with it, top of the key. Wahoo in the man-to-man. No score, just turned away. There's a cut and a curl by, by Palachik, and Newman first on the scoreboard at 2 nothing. Simons across the timeline with it. Miles Simons to Granjanet. Left elbow to the corner to Hancock. Hancock will not throw it to a cutting Kosiski. Glock with it works on Aaron's. Near wing it comes to Miles Simons. Miles checked there by Lynch. A couple of physically impressive young men. And Hancock's elbow jumper in and out. No good. Lynch and uh, Simons kind of mirror images of each other. Really uh, well-built young guys. There's a ball poked away from shut. Here's Wahoo on the break. And Miles Simons turns it over. They zip it down to Hancock. We didn't quite turn it over. He almost did. Simons baseline drive all the way to the hoop, up and in, two to two. Wahoo goes like Miles goes. Uh, if he has if he has one of his better games with uh, you know, ball control and playing efficiently, they're tough to beat. If he's average, Wahoo can be very average at times. Within the corner now, Lynch has it poked away by Glock. Sophomore out on the break, left-handed dribble around Stewart. Picks his dribble up. Now he'll. Compose himself, missed the shot, rebound fought for. Marcus gets it back up off the rim and in. 4-2 Wahoo. Newman didn't get back in transition nearly quickly enough there. Quickly into the front court with it is Lynch. Wahoo's still in the man. You'll see Wahoo play 95% man-to-man. I don't even know if you'll see any 1-3-1 from him. We haven't seen it hardly all year. It's been very, very noticeable, but they just haven't played it. 
Kosiski on Aarons, now near wing to Lynch, guarded by Hancock, now to shut, goes around, goes around uh, Grand Jeanette, and uh, Grand Jeanette reaches out and grabs him. Yeah, Newman's valuing of the basketball, the last couple of possessions not been good, to your point, Bryce, some, some very weak ball handling and also post-entry passes, just some tip balls, good defense, active hands for Wahoo here early. Newman's gonna have to clean that up to try to stay close here. Ball comes in and nearly a turnover. Lynch the first one to it. Tried to lob it into there to shut. Overthrew him just a tad. Shut with it now. Works on Benji into the crease. Kicks it out. Turner Aarons quickly closed out by Anthony Simon. Now in the ball game along with Benji Nelson for the Warriors. First substitutions of the game for either team. Shut with it at the elbow. Kicks it to Lynch. Lynch down to shut. Got it around Glock. Shut misses the uh, chippy. And Hancock quickly ahead with it to Miles. Miles has got younger brother along the baseline. Nobody picks him up. Anthony will bury a Simons home store three-pointer. And he picks up right where he left off Tuesday night. Coming off a 22-point performance shut with the trailer. Kicks it to Lynch. Lynch guarded by Nelson now. 7-2 Wahoo to the corner. It goes big shot blocked there by Miles Simons. And they say it hits the baseline before Benji can get to it. Shot ready is important, Bryce, especially against really good teams with great athleticism. That time Jude's got to understand that. Get it off a little get quicker. Get it off there. a lot quicker. Yep, had it blocked by Miles. Good block there by Miles. Box inbounds play. They get it into Shuddy as it poked away by Miles. Now Hancock having a hard time controlling it. Flips it to Miles. Miles down the lane. One more pass to Marcus up off the glass and in. Coach Crackmeyer will call a timeout. It's 9-2 Wahoo. Stop in and view the real estate listings Tim Shanahan, Jerry Dibish, Kurt Molly, Brett Eady, Dan Sanderson, and Margaret Lonick have to offer at Nebraska Regents in the area at Nebraska Realty. Call them today, 402-443-3415, or find them online at www.nebraskarealty.com. Value in sound agronomic, as well as a full line of custom application services. To understand how Novus Ag can help you be more successful this year, as well as beyond, call... And Aaron's handling against Benji. Glock out here on Lynch. Now shot into the ball game for the first time for the Cavs. Stir out there along with him as well. Wahoo in the half court man to man. This has been their defensive choice. There's a three from the corner. Missed rebound fought for and taken by Glock. Benji up the left side of the floor was open momentarily. Now Marcus finds him. Benji goes baseline around. Chata right to the rim lays it in. 11-2, poor close out there by Newman and Benji. Benji wants to get to the rim, Kevin, and uh, you gotta you gotta kind of play him to drive a little bit, especially early in the possession. 11 to two, four minutes to go in the quarter. Lynch now to Chada. Newman, I thought might be running some flex, but they aren't. Nice take by Cannon all the way to the hole, scores it. 11-4. Good strong take down the right side of the lane. Cannon's really been feeling his oats here a few of the last couple weeks, especially dribble drive by that good. time with his right hand, yeah. Finishes well with his left as well. So and good drive there by him. And that's a hard guy to get the shot over yeah, in six exactly. six long arm Benji. Benji with it now, working on Cannon and this, and he travels with it. Got to the rim again. Not sure that's a very good matchup for Newman based on the last two trips, but they do get the turnover on the traveling call, 11 to 4. And Lynch will inbound it to Aarons. Both teams still in straight man-to-man -man in the half court. Chata with it in the corner, guarded now by Kosiski, who's back into the ball game. They run Palachik to the corner. Grand Jeanette falls down, and Palachik hits the Simons home score three. And it's 11-7. And this is what you see with Wahoo. They go in lulls. Uh, they kind of lose their focus. And uh, defensively, it's cost them. Grand Jeanette, or excuse me, Benji, high arcing three, no good rebound, fought for, taken by Cannon, Chata, and he will bring it up himself, 11 6 257 go first period. Last shot by Palachik, Bryce, actually a two, oh, so it was. just, yep, yep 11 to right. 6 Wahoo. Well, we gave free advertising to Simons, let's take that back. <laughs> that ball knocked out of bounds off the hands of Kasiski. high ball screen came for Lynch, looked for Cannon, rolling to the bucket, Wahoo defending that well, box inbounds play here for the Cavs. They get it into Cannon. They'll run a shooter back to the corner. And they won't find him, but they'll go into Shut, working on Glock. Shut up and over Glock. Misses it. Rebound taken by Anthony Simon. Anthony, left-hand dribble, and now they're going to call double or a calm. And that is a routine call when Anthony handles a lot of the time, and I don't understand it. 
you can pass the ball quicker in this game than you can dribble it. Turnover Wahoo, 11-6 comes Palachik. He's got it. Marcus Glock on the way by Jude. Short rebound by Marcus backside. He gets poked in the eye by Aarons. So he'll have to shoot with one. 11-6 your score, 2.07 to go first period. C-1-4 sub-district final. Winner advances to play on Saturday afternoon. Both these teams, I think, go about to rotation. Aaron Spichka also got in on Tuesday a little bit. That result of some foul trouble with Connor Shutt getting them some early foul trouble. So, yeah. Wahoo that, player on his way to the goal. Yeah, so that was, that'll be the first on Connor. That was Grand Jeanette. Yeah. And able to slice his way through the defense on that inbounds play, 13 to six now. Wahoo then scored for about two minutes. So that's a nice, nice inbounds play for them. Now with it is Lynch, has it tipped away momentarily to the corner, it goes to Chada. Now out top it comes to shut, swings it near side to Lynch, guarded loosely by Grand Jeanette. Now Palachik with it to the corner to shut. Miles Simons on him. It's a hard, hard matchup there for shut. Miles can really move and he's big and strong. There's a nice play by Chata. Little four footer in the lane, 13 to 8 public. Grand Jeanette er, cuts baseline. They don't throw it to him now. It cut off the curl to Kasiski back out. I didn't think Owen really had a hold of it, but he got it up and got it in the basket. Shut drives in the paint, gets banged around. He'll travel with it. That time help came from the middle to this. They, but it's been successful for him. Hancock doing. Need him in the paint, eating up rebounds. That's with you. Now Kasiski out on the break, pulls it back, finds a cutting. Miles Simons, he's fouled by Lynch on the way to the hole. Nice give and go there by Wahoo, and at the foul line will be Miles. And side, but also on the low block a little bit. Some right. indecisiveness there with Connor. They had collapsed, double teamed him. He needs to kick that, recognize that double team coming a little bit quicker as Miles misses the first free throw. Glock and Nelson back in for Wahoo. Out will come Grand Jeanette and Anthony Simon. Well, in Connor's defense, you know, Miles, one of two, lead pushed out to nine now at 17-8. Connor's got it, and I know they work on it. They got to chin that and get it out of the post a little quicker to your point. Newman will play for last shot tap head. High ball screen comes from Sam. They get it to the corner. Ball stolen. Wahoo with three seconds, two seconds. Owen will pull up and shoot a three and hit it. Simon's home score three from the top of the key at the buzzer. 20. Happy in your day at the fast and friendly Wahoo Pizza all day, every day, or enjoy one of their primo sandwiches. Schools online at Route 35 North Linden. Give them a and waited for a minute. He's kind of having its way with some of these guys. Aaron's for the Cavs for Wahoo. Hancock closes that on him now. Benji's outstretched. Meese will sit. Lynch on him loosely now. For young Miss Glock. Inside poked away there from Sam. But I Glock for Wahoo. He'll pull it then to go. He gets gets a kick back. Palachik to Chada. Good mid-range game. Grand to uh, six foot five sophomore Newman a little bit more high, tough. That's a short rebound out of there with it. The smallest guy in the quarter is Aaron's. He's re Glock three minutes into this second quarter. There's a near your dribble entry in, and and you're gonna Palachik thought about it. He looks inside to Spichka for Lynch. Simon's home down the lane. He goes to the corner to Grand Jeanette. And back out to Benji. They'll swing it in maybe. No. As actually they're gonna get. It's been more of an issue of just the checking in there is shut for the Cavs. Game does Anthony Salmon. Aaron's steal there by Glock all the way in. Tries to dunk it. And <laughs> when you got a bunch of thoroughbreds, you got to let it to the line again. Luke Meese picks up the foul. His first team's fifth first half as Miles misses the first free throw. Hancock will check in for 11 year score. Wahoo in charge. His first points of the second quarter. He's got four. Half man defense as Wahoo has been in through. 25-11, three by Anthony on the Sessions provide area athletes with the athletic sessions are available for any athlete or the edge. Process quick and hassle for the schedule. Plus, you in this second quarter, Cavalier Bass back around now with it's like a pickup game and stuff. Action play by Wahoo primarily. There's a ball kicked out. Three by Cameron Kosiski is good. Lynch now he finds Aaron's three on the way by turn. He'll be bumped. He'll get called for a travel first. Only steps over him, throws it to the corner. Palachik then knocks down the shot. Ken's had a nice first half. Got yeah, he has. Under the ball screens when Marcus is out there. Simons Holmes will use a ball screen. Spitchka slices down the lane. 34 16, a minute 28 to go in the second. He has it. Looks down low, gets it in there. Miles almost loses it out of back. Quickly Newman into the front court with it. 
36-16. Now they nearly throw it away. Instead, block, I believe, Aaron. Atlas defensive player for Wahoo. Sam Stewart checking back. Points scored average per game. Ball. That might have been goaltending. Should have been. But he says, not the way I'm shooting it. I'll just keep shooting it. They a steal. They get it over to hands or to Kosicki down the line. is upset, but that was definitely one. Except the three guys with whistles. Half, 42-16. A little late. And For a lifetime, where can you Broadway? Check out Moon 7 to schedule a session today. Lears boast a rich athletic tradition. Wahoo. You'll find a relaxing beer on draft or any of their special celebrates unparalleled athletic tradition. Times with so many options, it can be hard to find an honest and Holly has the most modern server an appointment. Give Chris or Amy a call today at 443. Game or a Bishop Newman Cal Go is digital capabilities, so wherever you follow your team, member FDIC. Jerry Wade and his crew are red craftsmanship is what you'll enjoy with 402, 443. Smile is a window to your soul. So keep best possible preventative and 59 or visit them online. I want you to easily manage your fine on at www.wahoo state. 43, 41, most importantly, I 134. In this busy harvest season, farmers to the world's food supply are in value. Contact Farmers Mutual Trust for tomorrow. Window cleaning is fully insured. These are just a window at a time. Contact Fish Window. Organizations and individuals seeking limitless possible model have a local consultant with the Global 3742 or find us online at Inoperate Quality of Who Warriors. It's good luck in athletics and... Welcome back to Wahoo High School. I am K26. It's 42. Shot off the bench with six Simons Home Store triples. 13, 10 of those in Hancock. All of those in the first. Warriors 22 to 8. Basketball here. All we did. Lions Decatur. That's a mouthful. Yeah. Has Wahoo.